it was thought two to three years ago that he who has trailers wins in a certain degree. And through the 21, 22 seasons, peak seasons specifically, the inability for shippers slash receivers to maintain warehouse labor forced them to some degree to become more efficient in the way that they processed their outbound and inbound goods. So CARES that had trailers for uh, that could provide equipment at a shipper or receiver and let the manufacturer or the, or the customer take the freight on and off the trailers as they needed was very valuable, very valuable. So we, the CARES that had three to one, four to one, five to one trailer ratios to truck ratios became very valuable to those customers because we provided something that a, you know, that a small carrier with one truck and one trailer could not provide. We provided that ability to maintain their freight somewhere on their yard, either from an outbound standpoint or coming in as a receiving standpoint. Well, this last year, labor has been a little easier to get for warehousing companies or at, at, a, at a dock facility. And so with the price adjustment that we're Again, contract carriers were this rate, spot carriers were this rate. We had trailers, they did not have trailers, but I just needed a truck. Well, as their rates came down to here, and I'm still having to pay this number to get your trailers and tractors and all that kind of stuff, but I can pay this rate and I don't get that, I'll tell you what, I got enough labor on the dock now, I can afford to take this cut and do more live, what we call in our business, live live. Live load, live unload. I don't need as many trailers. We had thought, and I'm one of the, I'm one of the many. We had thought that there was a protection, if you will, from the carriers that had trailers versus the carriers that did not, because you needed, our, you need the customers needed their trailers. Well, that proved not to be the case for certain customers, and so we try to maintain a certain tra tractor to trailer ratio. We want new trailers, we want new equipment, we want to be on a trade cycle. But what's been proven is that the need for trailers hasn't been near as great as we had once thought because the shippers have said, you know what, I'll chase the cheaper price and I'll just, I'll just do with the inefficiency at the warehouse or at the loading facility. I'll pay for that through a lesser rate with the carrier. So carriers like us and certain ones that, does, that did need to expend the CapEx on new trailers have canceled some orders because we're just said, look, the trailer, tractor to trailer ratio doesn't carry as much value as it did two years ago.